Hey everyone, if you're watching this video, you're most likely at the point where you have created a web server on Oracle Cloud. Um, you have SSH into that server. You have probably already installed some type of application that you want to serve over the internet, but you're unable to access it from the internet. In my case, as you can see, I have an Apache server installed that it's up and running. We can also confirm the ports that we're listening on. You can see that we have ports 80 and 443 up and listening. But if I go to my web browser, browser and I try to access this Apache server on my public IP, I'm going nowhere. So you're probably wondering how to resolve that. And this is where I'm going to show you how to do that. Just stick with me. It's going to be a very, very short video. First thing that you need to do is you're going to need to open those ports into your security list on the Oracle Cloud Console. The best way to get there is and to make sure that you're on a correct virtual cloud network is to go through your instance. So as you can see, I'm on my instance screen. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and click on this link here. That's going to send me to the virtual cloud network that my instance is assigned to. And the reason why I'm saying it's the best you come from here is because if you go from virtual cloud networks, it is possible that you have multiple virtual cloud networks and then you have to figure out which one is the one that this instance is attached to. So that's why I'm recommending coming through here. So once you're here, you can go ahead and click on this link. From here, you can just scroll down a little bit. And on the left side, you can click on security lists. And you can either create a new security list or just add the new rules to the default existing security list. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add them to the default security list. And to do that, all you need to do is click on that list. And then down here, as you can see, we already have a few rules. These are the defaults that your instance comes with. And you can see port 22 is open. And that's why you're able to to connect via SSH. So we're gonna add a couple more ports here. So we're gonna click on add ingress rules and here we're gonna give it an IP. And since we want this to be exposed to everybody on the internet for our source, we're gonna give 0, .0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 slash zero. And if you want to restrict that to certain specific IP or specific networks, you can do that here. But now we're looking at the case when we want this to be open to the entire internet, because let's say this is going to be our website and we want everybody to be able to access it. So for source, we're going to put port zero slash zero. And then in our case, we're opening a TCP ports, HTTP and HTTPS. So we're going to leave the protocol here. But if your application is listening in a UDP port, this is where you can change it. Then down here for source port, we don't have to do anything. We can just leave it the way it is. But where it's important is the destination port. So the destination port is what ports our server listening on. And as we saw here, our web server is listening on 443 and port 80. So we're going to come down here and we're going to enter the two ports that we want to open. So we're going to do port 80 and you can separate them by comma without space and port 443. You can put a description here. In my case, I'm just going to leave it blank. Once you have that done, you can go ahead and click on add an ingress rule. And then you can go ahead and give it a try, but it's not going to work. And the reason why is this is where Oracle differs from other cloud providers. And even some experienced folks sometimes get a little struggle with getting it to work. By default, the Ubuntu instance on Oracle Cloud runs IP tables. So that's like a second firewall that is separate from the security list. So like if you're an AWS, AWS user, you know that on AWS, they only have their security groups. And as soon as you open ports in the security group, you can access your instance. But on Oracle Cloud, they have this extra layer of protection and they have IP tables running as well. To open those ports on IP tables, you're going to have to go to your servers. And here we're going to have to open these two ports in an IP tables. Now, per Oracle recommendations, we're going to do that manually in the IP tables configuration file. And if you're logged in as Ubuntu user, you're going to need to run it as a sudo. So we're going to run sudo followed by nano Etsy IP tables and rules version four. Once you get in here, you're going to see a whole bunch of rules. All we need to do is add a two extra lines here. So what I like to do usually is I just get one of the existing rules. And in our case, I'm going to grab the rule for port 22 since we know that it's a working rule and it is the same protocol TCP. So this one would require the least change. So I'm going to grab that rule and I'm going to make a copy of it. And I'm just going to paste it a couple of times right under here. Now be very 
careful when you're doing that. So you make sure that you make copies of it. Don't just edit the rule for port 22, because if you do that, next time you're trying to connect to your instance with SSH, you won't be able to do it. You're gonna lock yourself up. So be very careful and make sure that you duplicate that rule that you don't edit it directly. So once you have the copies of it, you can go ahead here and replace the port with port 80 and port 443. And once you have that done, you can go ahead and close your text editor. And once you have that closed, all you need to do is run the following command, IP tables dash restore, followed by path to uh, IP tables configuration file. And again, if you're logged in as Ubuntu user, don't forget to put sudo before you run your command. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna add sudo, and then I'm gonna rerun the command, and this time it should work. Now that we run this, I'm gonna go back to my web browser and I'm gonna see if I can access my web app. And as you can see, now I can access my Apache default page on my server, and this is on port 80. And then I'm gonna go and add HTTPS here in my request and I should be able to access it on port 443 as well. So as you can see, I'm connecting on HTTPS 443. I'm getting this warning message here and that's because my certificate doesn't match with our domain name, but that's okay. You can click on show details and if you click on keep going and visit this site, you will see that now we are accessing our Apache web app on the port 443 as well. And this is how it's done. It's pretty straightforward. I hope it was helpful to you. If you liked it, please go ahead, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.